in this process of creating more pleasure, more fulfillment for our lives. I've talked about in previous videos how we, how I like to start with what do I want to feel, this question of what vibration do I want to feel in my body? Do I want pleasure, pain, peace, excitement? Could be anything. And once we move beyond that, once we know what we want to feel, we can be really anchored in that and trust that a little bit more. And I think it makes this second step a little bit easier, this question, the second step of actually asking for what we want. I've also talked about how sometimes we can't get there or it can be really challenging to ask for what we want if we don't feel safe enough. Certainly this whole process can be challenging if we don't feel safe enough, but I like to think about that here because what I see a lot in myself and with clients is that oftentimes I know what I want. I know what I want to ask for. I see you in front of me and I know what I want you to do to me. I know what I want to do to you. And I don't ask for it because I don't feel safe enough. I don't know if you're going to judge me. I don't know if you're going to run away. I don't know if you're going to tell other people. And so sometimes I need to come in and start with those agreements to say that I know what I want to do with you. But before I tell you, before I ask that from you, I need to know that you're not going to go or tell other people that I can trust you, that you will stay, that you'll answer with integrity for your own body and not just say yes, because I asked. Asking for what we want is so critical and it can be so hard. Most of us, many of us, if not most of us, we're taught to, to constantly track or gauge what other people want, what other people desire, what the other person wants to eat for dinner, what the other person wants in bed. And so we don't pay any attention to what we want in our own bodies. And what I often tell people is that if I have to spend any energy trying to track what you want i cannot know i cannot know my own desires i cannot know what i want because in my experience it takes all of my awareness all of my energy to be aware of my desires and the moment that that goes out toward you or toward someone else i lose sight of that and when I lose sight of that, I cannot ask for what I want. If you've worked with me in any capacity, you've probably heard me talk about Betty Martin's Wheel of Consent. That is a map, that is a framework that I find immensely helpful in this process. To know where I am in integrity, to know when I might be in shadow, to know where I can find pleasure in serving you, where I can find pleasure in accepting gifts from you, and also where I can find pleasure in taking, taking from your body, from your energy, your time, and where I can find pleasure in allowing, in allowing you to take from me. I think all four of those uh, quadrants that Betty talks about in the Wheel of Consent are so critical. I believe that our ability to navigate those four quadrants is necessary for us to find more lasting fulfillment bliss, contentment. And then if I am not in integrity in any of those, whether that's serving, accepting, taking, or allowing 
it's going to be really hard for me to find that contentment and happiness and bliss. These questions of asking for what we want, I think, constantly move. The, the ease can certainly be there the more we practice. But there's always challenges. There's always going to be shadow there. And that is exciting as well as challenging, of course. I think as we begin to expand these questions with partners, with friends, with other relationships, we begin to use these questions with ourselves. What do I want for myself? What do I want to create for myself? What do I want to ask for myself right now? And then extending that beyond this physical plane, this waking consciousness into these other realms of consciousness into our mental and emotional desires, our spiritual desires, so that we can deepen that path and deepen our understanding, our awareness of pleasure, contentment, and bliss. We could talk about this all day, and I usually do, but I'm going to stop here, and if this resonates with you, if anything I said resonates, or perhaps if it doesn't resonate, please leave a comment. I always love to hear how people respond, how this lands, and what you have to add, what your experience is in asking for what you want.